Here's a dialogue you may have seen before. Audio track could not be record enabled because it doesn't have both an input and an output assigned. And if I look at the track uh, that I tried to record enable, uh, I'm looking at the input, it's grayed out. And if you don't see the input output section, the IO column, go to the view menu in Pro Tools, edit window views, and make sure that IO, ins and outs, is checked. You can get it from the view menu in Pro Tools, or you can get it from the little view, uh, wi edit window view selector menu, which is the same thing, or you can right click on any of the existing columns, for example, inserts, if you right click there, you get to that same menu. Make sure I.O. is enabled so that we see the I.O. column. You can get rid of sends and inserts if you'd like. Um, but I.O., ins and outs, is what we need to see for this error message. And I can see that the inputs on all of these tracks are grayed out. That's the problem. And then down here on these bottom four tracks, not only the inputs are grayed out, but the outputs are as well. And the reason they are is because this session was originally created on a, on a Pro Tool system that had... Um, a larger audio interface. It had more inputs and outputs. Currently, I'm using a Scarlett, just two ins, two outs um, audio interface, two I2, two inputs, two outputs. And if I go to the IO setup, I can see there's my inputs, there's only two. But if I click on this show last save setup, it will show me the hardware, the audio interface that was used uh, previously to create this session. It's an Avid Matrix Studio. And of course, it's got 32 inputs and 32 outputs, uh, which I don't have right now on my Scarlet. So I'm gonna click on that. And what we have to do here is a couple of things. So for the outputs, I'll, I'll fix that. Um, let's go here, go to bus. And for all of these outputs that previously existed on the matrix, I'm just going to assign them all to output two, one and two. So I'm going to select all of these, whoops, select them here and go all the way down to here. What the heck? And I'll hold shift option on a Mac. Uh, shift alt on a PC and just go output one and two. Now all of the uh, tracks that have any outputs other than one and two will be remapped to one and two while this session is open on my Scarlet system. Now the inputs, I don't have the ability to do that sort of thing here. So I have to go into each track and assign it to either an input one or two. That's all the only inputs I have on this Scarlet interface. So I can set those now input one or input two based on whatever I want to record and what I have connected to that audio interface. Now, if I record enable this track, I can actually record enable it without getting that dialogue. These tracks down here, audio three, for example, I have not reassigned its input. It's still grayed out. It's looking for input number three that doesn't exist on my two input audio interface. So if I hit record there, uh, I will get that same dialogue. I can resolve that by changing that input to one of the two availables that I've got, one or two. Uh, you can see all of my outputs are good here. Now I could assign an input on a bus as well if you've got internal routing going on in Pro Tools. But So uh, if you get that error message, look for the input and the output, make sure they're, they're good, they're not grayed out, and you wanna find that in the IO column of your Pro Tools edit window. Hope that helps.